lovely humans welcome back to my channel i am so glad that you guys are here for another fun video katie here and today we're going to be uh having a little compilation video of some of my halloween decor hunts over the last about week and a half so today is august 2nd and uh, i have been out and about um probably about five of the last seven days just kind of going to certain stores and seeing what they have I've had my niece with me, my almost 13 year old niece stayed with me for about five days. And so uh, we went to a couple stores. We went to Bath and Body Works at the mall and we went to like Michael's and Joann's. Um, but I haven't really been able to do some hunting um, just because I know she's not really into that yet, unfortunately. Um, but I did get some marvelous finds and uh, I will be show sharing those with you here shortly. Um, but I did want to kind of just tell you that I have been hunting. I apologize for the lateness in this video. I wish I could have gotten one out last week, um, but just timing didn't, didn't work out. And I seem to be putting out things on TikTok and forgetting that I haven't put out an actual YouTube video. So I apologize for that too. I've kind of just been dumping it on TikTok and then not going back to it and finding old footage that I'm like, I should have put that on YouTube and I completely spaced it. So I have to start making myself a schedule, I think, so I know what needs to be released. Um, but I'm so also impulsive about when I go out to go Halloween decor hunting. So. I promise I will work on it. We'll get better at this. Um, but I do have a couple pieces that I need to show you that I have added to my collection over the last couple days. Today's find made me so happy. No, it is not the Cracker Barrel Ghost, which when I find that, guys, I'm going to lose my ever-loving mind because uh, I'm not giving up on it yet. I am not giving up. I keep thinking that they're going to come out with maybe a second drop of it. But I don't know, you know, because the the employees say that they don't get a whole lot of Halloween and usually, you know, they put out a couple weeks worth and then it's done. So maybe this backlash with everybody wanting to get a hold of that ghost, maybe they'll put out a second um, shipment of it. But fingers very tightly crossed that they decide to do that. But we'll see what happens. Um, I have been following Bath and Body Works very closely. I really enjoy so many of the pieces that they came out with this year. So. I keep checking into my stores. Luckily, I have like four Bath and Body Works within a 20 minute drive of my house. So I have been driving around like a mad woman, checking them all to see what I can find. And over the last, I'd say four or five days, they have had something new in stock each time that I have gone. So it looks like they're just kind of like staggering their releases. Um, there's still a wall plug-in that I'm waiting to have released. It looks like a little like a crystal ball with um, like crystals on the inside of it. I'll see if I can find a picture and I'll post it up here. But this was posted on one of the Halloween blogs about the Bath and Body Works drop. I haven't seen this anywhere. I don't know if anybody has it in their stores yet but it's beautiful. I'd like to get a hold of it, but um, like I said, they just keep surprising me. Every time I walk in there, there is something new on the shelves. Um, so I'm going to insert some of my, my hunts for the last couple days. Uh, again, like I said, I apologize. It's going to be kind of mishmashed, um, but all of it is around the Toledo area, and I will try and maybe do some um, voiceover for some of it because I know the music in some of these stores is always so loud, so I don't want to get a copyright ding, so I'll be taking that out, and hopefully I'll remember to put in some um, voiceover so you can kind of get an idea of where the footage was taken and uh, what day it was and all that good stuff. So um, I will uh, insert said footage from about July 28th through today, which is August 2nd. And uh, then I'll come back and I will show you the pieces that I bought on my trips. Okay guys, so this was on July 27th and this was my first sightings of Halloween in the wild at Home Goods. So this is about five or six minutes of footage, so I hope you enjoy it.
cute. those light up? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they do. Okay guys, we are now hopping over to At Home in Toledo, Ohio, and this was also on July 27th. These guys are new. So the tall tech canister is 10. This guy is new. Let's see if we can get him to light up. And light up indeed. It's kind of creepy. I like him a lot. Okay, let's see. There's also a new pillow up here. That's a little pumpkin pillow. is 12 
$9.99. That's it for pump for pillows though, I think. I haven't been around the corner yet, but they've also got some new light sets up here, which is really nice. And then of course the carvable pumpkins. All right, let's go around the corner, shall we? I think they're putting more stuff out as we speak. Oh, here's some more pillows. So we got some spider ones. Here's a guy right here. And this guy is $12.99. Little spiders. Just a plain background. And then we got this skull guy. He's $14.99. He's got a satin, velvet kind of feel to him, and he's got that metallic overlay with just a plain black back. And then we've got this spider pillow here. He's $19.99. And he's kind of got like embossed um, like velvet spiders on him with a full black velvet back. That's nice. And then we've got the Hello Fall and then the Thankful Pillows down there. And these guys, let's see. This one's $14.99. And this guy is also $14.99. Okay, let's go around the corner here. We've got our ghost trio over here. And we've got a new spirits container that lights up. Let's see if we can get them just to... Oh, that's kind of cool with the LED colors. That's really pretty. And then we've got this guy again. He is $9.99. And we've got the fuzzy spiders on the bottom. And then, I don't know if I've shown you guys this guy yet. He was in here on one of my last trips in, but that's really kind of cool with the skeletal hand holding it. And then we've got this guy again, and I just absolutely love him. Still, I can't help it. not gonna light up for me. Mm, neither will this guy. Oh, bummer. I'll see if I can find some old footage and I'll put that in here so you can see what he looks like. We got that awesome guy. And of course the glitter trees again. And the book skeleton with the red eyes. Oh no, he lost an eye. <laughs> there we go. There he is. <laughs> This is a kind of cool little candelabra. I've not seen him before for $12.99. It's nice and durable. It's a nice resin. And then we've got a little black lantern with spiders on it. We've got the cracked mercury glass pumpkins and the good old skeletons again. We've got a new little dragon guy. So he's 25. We have cork placemats. It's a set of four of these guys for $15. They're a metallic hue. I don't know if they're all the same. I'm going to guess that they probably are because they're not really giving us any details on the rest of the four in the, or the rest of the three in the pack, I guess. But and we've got gauze cloth and we've got cobwebs and we've got the skeletons again. We went over these on my last video. I really like these guys. I've been a sucker for gargoyles ever since I was a kid. This cool guy, he's $10. And then we've got more skeleton mugs and a planter. He looks kind of cool. I don't know what else you would do with this guy. What does it say it is? Nothing? Just how many dark decadence? Okay, well. I'm going to say you'd probably use it as a planter, which I think would be a really kind of cool idea. Hey, there's a cauldron. Oh my goodness. $17.99 for this guy. I haven't seen any cauldrons. I've come here a hundred times and they haven't had any cauldrons or the cauldron mugs. Um, but I think he's going to have to be mine, right? Like if I don't pick him up now, I'll never see him again. And we've got our obligatory I put this down, I'm sorry um, uh, placemats or not placemats um, doormats, gee whiz 
these guys up here. I like that Happy Halloween one with the skeleton on it. And this Enter If You Dare one. The skeleton's pretty cool too. Okay. And then on the other side, there's just the Sally and Zero and some looks like some flags. All well, most just fall related. There's that boo one and the trick, the tr three uh, pumpkins, but that's about it for that. That's a cute little sign for a flag. All right, let's go around this next corner. And we've got more skulls and skulls and skulls. And a severed head. He's new for 15, he's 14.99. little vampire looking dog. Another different type of a gargoyle. He kind of looks like the flying monkeys from The Wizard of Oz. And all the usual fall decor we've seen. I still love that guy so much, but I'm still not spending 40 bucks on him. I won't do it. And I really like this gourd. He's beautiful. Is that a bell? Okay, I gotta look. It is a bell. It's a little owl bell. How cute is he? That's beautiful. Pumpkins, pumpkin containers down here. Cute little Halloween sign with the broom. That's really cute. This is a new guy, I haven't seen him before. So he's a pumpkin and he's got a skeleton on the inside. He is $20, he's part of the Halloween hoedown. I don't know honestly how I feel about that. It's interesting and different, but I, I don't know, I don't know. And now we've got Be Thankful pillows and Autumn thankful leaves. There's that cute little happy Halloween sign. I think I've seen him before, but if not, he is $7.99. And we've got this awesome Baba Yaga type chicken foot uh, candle holder. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's $10. And it's part of, um, it doesn't want to tell me. It's part of the Halloween hoedown collection, it looks like, but I don't understand. Well, a chicken, I guess, but if you're looking at Halloween folklore, I would definitely think of Baba Yaga with that, but I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. And there are those boo and eek signs. So I went online last night. Last night was Monday night and looked at my store's options, like what they had in line, and everything was sold out. Everything that I wanted was sold out. And so I was like, well, I don't even know if I want to go over there today. But I'm like, they're getting a new, a new truck in, so let's just check it out and see what they got. And I'm glad that I did because, like I said, I haven't seen a cauldron and they had one sitting on the shelf. So you better believe I took it. Still love that pumpkin. Mm. That's a cute little gourd right there for $12.99. And then you got this sweet three-tiered pumpkin for $20. See, I'm, I'm hot and cold with the, ho the Halloween hoedown line, guys. Some of it's really cute. Some of it I can't stand. OMG. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So this is new. This is on the Spellbound line for $20. He doesn't, oh, I think he does light up. He does light up. Let's see if I can get this to work. Give me a second. Ooh. This guy doesn't want to light up. Okay, how about your next door neighbor? Will he light up? No. Okay, well, maybe you just gotta wait and put some fresh batteries in him or something. He's not lighting up, but look at this guy. Oh, I love him. Oh, oh, I love him so much. This is really quite cool. He is, oof, $34.99. Was not expecting that price tag on him, unfortunately. I'm a little bummed about that, so I'm gonna have to wait. Gonna have to wait on him, but that is a really cool 
that's a really cool design. And you know, honestly, I don't even know where I would put him. I have so many like shelf decor. I, I'm having trouble finding room for everything anymore, but oh, he's so cool. You guys need to come and snatch him up because he is really, really awesome. And we've got some new pumpkins here that are like just um, fit off like styrofoam wrapped in fabric wrapped in lace. So there's the green version and there is a purple version of that one. And there's also a blue. I didn't even see him sitting there. And then up here we've got the crystal ball. A pumpkin with bats on him. This is pretty cute too. Let's see. He is $24.99. We've got the uh, spell book globe with the black and gold glitter. There's a little raven in there on the book. We got this disgusting guy again that I still refuse to touch because I don't do that. There's a spell book, everlasting life potion and true love potion ingredients. That's really cool. This guy is so much. He's 40. He's $39.99. Okay. And then we've got the spooky mug, or the spooky mug, spooky um, pumpkin we've seen before. And everything else we've already kind of taken a look at. So I'm going to grab my, my purchases and keep walking. Over here, again, is still the same wall of pumpkins. And I know there's one more little set of pumpkins here on an end cap, so I'm gonna go check those out really quick. Well, there's also these fall pillows and fall throws. Really like that one, but I'm not spending $15 on a like 50 by 60 throw. We've got scented items and candles and satchels there. That looks like Christmas and I wanna gag, so we're gonna walk right past that. I don't even wanna look at it. Oof. But we do have inflatables here in an aisle. Usually they have them on a huge end cap in the middle of the store. But today we've got them hanging out over here. So we've got this cool skeletal dragon guy. And this duo of ghosts with a pumpkin. That's really cute. And a skeletal puppy dog. And just a normal guy. I don't know if they're all separate or if they're together. I think they're separate. We've got a little spider pumpkin. <laughs> a little dachshund. If you know, I have two dachshunds, so that's very, very cute. We've got a little ghost guy up there with a pumpkin as a hat. And then we've got a little ghost kitty cat, a zero on a pumpkin, Oogie Boogie, Sally's looking a little rough, a huge jack, and then a jack on a pumpkin. And you know, I'm not going to stop and look at everything here, but good grief, I love to walk down this aisle just to be immersed with beautiful fall colors. OMG. So many pretty florals. That's cool up there. Cute, 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 cute. I say cute way too much in these damn videos. I am so sorry about that. I need to update my vernacular, don't I? Oh, look at how cool that is. See? Cool. I said cool. That's cool. $50 for those. Okay. All right. Okay. Is that it? We got these guys on the end here. Some wreath holders. These guys are really cool. Welcome. And the little maple leaf and the pumpkin school. All right. Let's head back this way, guys. I think that's going to be... That's going to be the bulk of our trip today, is what we saw. Here's a couple more things on this end cap. So it looks like they got more of the, the busts and this little pretty pumpkin. We got more of her, but she's still the broken one with her candle missing. The dream reader sign. All the old favorites. Okay. We've got swags here on this end cap and our ghosty friends on this end cap. And some more pumpkins on this end cap. So, so that's going to do it. One more quick step towards the front. Welcome, we 
witches. Shoes off, witches. Grateful and thankful. It's so funny next to the witch ones. Boo. And that one says trick or treat yourself. That one says fall most of all. This one is a hollow fall. And this one is autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Okay. I've never seen him before. This guy. And they've got the conservatory. He's so cute. And then he projects bats on the wall. So that's what he does on the wall. And of course, the Chihuahua. My niece wants to make sure you see him. It's very important. And I don't know what this is. Sugar Skull is really cute, babe. Oh, this is really cute. <laughs> One of those, the car plugins, I think. I think it's a bat clip. And then they've got the Happy Halloween scent. And we really like the Magnolia candle holder. That's really, really pretty. And the gate one. I like this guy right here. It looks like cemetery gates. He's cute too. Yeah, he's for your, uh, your, yeah. um, the foaming hand soaps. I really like this, this design, but I don't like the scent at yeah. all. It's too sweet. Eh, oh well. All right, so that's what we've got at the Franklin Park Mall currently. you look at that so we have two versions we have this old Salem dead and breakfast comfortable coffins and midnight check-ins and then over here we have another one that says welcome to our haunted house restless spirits served here these are so cool but there's no way I'm spending $130 right now aisles and making way for something and I'm not too sure what. Guys, I still can't seem to find the coffee that they came out with last year. Those are really cute. Um, but there was one that was like a maple flavored coffee and I absolutely love it. I'll have to see if I have a picture of it at home and I'll post it in here. Um, I got it at Home Goods, and it looked like it had been there a couple years in a row, but and other people are showing them at their local stores, but I can't seem to find any in mine, so uh, I'm willing to um, PayPal you some money if you find some to pick it up for me. I can't remember the brand name. I think it was just like it said, we love Halloween or something on it. And then there was a picture of a maple leaf and it's maple, like maple flavored coffee and it's just, ugh, it is so good. So if you see it, hook your sister up, please. 
couple pumpkin pillows and these super freaking soft blankets that I swear by. I have two of them and they're so comfortable, but they don't overheat you because I get hot so easily, but these do not, they don't make you hot. They just kind of keep your own heat in, if that makes any sense. Mm. Cute. Certainly not Halloweeny though. Let's keep looking. I like his flannel jacket. That's very sweet. Somewhere over here. There's another fall pillow out in the wild with some leaves on it. It's cute. That looks like it's going to be about it, kids. That's it. A couple more pillows up here, but... Mm. <laughs> There's our little gnome friend again. That's a cute truck. Alright, that's what we got. Okay guys, so this is my trip into Bath & Body Works in Perrysburg, Ohio. This was on July 30th, I think, or July 31st. And so I'm just kind of showing you the details. This spider is terrible. I really thought seeing it in person it might be better, but it's really just ugly. Um, the cat here will, I think, glow in the dark, and he he meows, and it says trick or treat. Uh, it sounds like some kids are sitting outside a, of a door. And then I showed you the candy corn and the pumpkin spice latte one, which I picked up. I thought that one was super cute. And you'll see that there's pricing differentials on all of these. The uh, spider is conveniently priced as such because it is so crappily made. <laughs> if you guys like it, I'm really sorry. Oh no, I don't mean to make fun, but I just I don't understand the pipe cleaners. And it looks like they it took 35 seconds with some hot glue to put that together. So I'm not really thrilled with that one this year. Everything else in the store was pretty much standard. I didn't see anything um, unique on this trip, but I did want to highlight some of the scent profiles on some of these soaps because, you know, sometimes you go in and you just kind of look through them, but you'll see that they're really just sweet flavor flavors, scents, and I, I don't care for either one of these. I love the packaging, but I don't I don't care for the smell. And then I really like these trick-or-treat bags. Um, it, it's teeny tiny, though, so I don't know if they're expecting people to, like, just fill it up with their soaps or what. But um, if you wanted to take that trick-or-treating, you wouldn't be able to get a whole lot. And then here are some of their fall wallflower decor items. That maple leaf one is my favorite. Okay, so this was the next day. So this must be the 31st trip into Bath & Body Works. And this was the Holland, Ohio location. Did you check out this cute candle holder? I absolutely love autumn leaves, maple leaves specifically, and this is extraordinary. Okay, so this was the same day, but this is at a different Bath & Body Works. So this is a location in Lima, Ohio, actually. And so I found the gentleman bust there. He is so cute. And they had two of them in stock. So I guess the way that they send them out to the stores is they send two of everything. Because that's how I found the um, witch hand as well. But these little, I like the wallflower designs that are kind of simple. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money on them. But they still glow. And they're still really sweet. 
So there's that second bust up there. And I really, I just think they knocked it out of the park with their candle holders and their soap holders this year. I really didn't see any that were like ugly or that I wouldn't put in my house. It's just, you know, I have priority over <laughs> some of them. Also, I have to get a, give it up for the Dracula Chihuahua. He's been in every single time I go to the locations. <laughs> and I didn't realize the first time I picked him up that he is also a projector. So he projects that Happy Halloween on the wall behind him. So that's pretty awesome. I also really like that soap dispenser with the ghosts on it. He glows in the dark, so I think that's a cute little a cute little touch. I really thought that the crystal skulls were going to be a bigger like hot ticket item, but I've seen those in almost every single trip that I've taken in there, so I hope if you want one you've been able to get one. Oh my god. 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 So pretty. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay, guys, so this is at TJ Maxx. Um, this is over on the north end of Toledo off of Alexis Road. Cheaper than most other garlands, I'm not too sure why. Hmm. Yeah, I just was looking at it for me. Let's go. He comes, the little gnome comes with the cup. Journey with me now to my local Big Lots where we have uh, seven total things on display currently. And I had to mute the sound because there was a god-awful Gwen Stefani song blaring above my head when I was trying to look at these items. These pumpkins are really heavy duty, really um, looks like they're really durable and great for that price. I think that that's actually pretty cheap for what you get there. And then there's this guy. Who looks like he's got snot all over his face from the uh, <laughs> glue gun. <laughs> okay, boils and ghouls, we are now journeying over to Home Goods on Monroe Street. And this is the one that's attached to the Marshalls and next to the Target. 
So this section is over in their kitchen wares. Uh, that bowl, the Nightmare Before Christmas bowl, I really enjoyed it. Um, as you'll see as I keep looking at it and picking it up. But uh, Nightmare Before Christmas is not my favorite Halloween movie by any stretch of the imagination. But I really did enjoy that design. I think especially for it being a Disney product, uh, trademarked, and being $10 at Home Goods, that's not a bad deal for a nice big bowl that you can fill with popcorn and sit in front of your TV and watch a spooky movie. I think that that sounds like an awesome idea. And I'm kind of kicking myself for not picking it up, but... Maybe they'll come out with some other designs here later in the season. But I also saw they had this Ray Dunn piece, which I wasn't expecting to see any Ray Dunn, since every video I've been watching has people saying that people are losing their minds about the Ray Dunn stuff. I don't get it personally. I'm not a Ray Dunn fan. I have never been a fan of decorating with sayings or just simply words on my walls. Um, but everyone's got their own, you know, ideas on decorating and if Ray Dunn is your bag then there is a piece available <laughs> at Home Goods on Monroe Street in Toledo if you'd like to come pick it up. I think there's actually later in the video there were some tumblers that they had available as well. These are super cute little mitts. I picked up some that have mini on them uh, last year or two years ago and I use them almost every single day. I love them. And then there was sets of placemats, only two placemats per set, which I was kind of like, oh, okay, because, you know, you only ever decorate with two placemats, but those were nice. Those had four in them. And then these cauldrons, I have seen them pretty standard over the last couple years at uh, Target, or not Target, TJ Maxx or Home Goods. I love that pumpkin set. I think they're so sweet. And I love that, like, knit cardigan feel to them. And I know everyone's burned out about the gnomes, but some of them were really quite cute this year. I'm more, I feel burned out about all of the, the glass pumpkins, I feel like. Gee whiz. Yeah, everywhere you look, you see glass pumpkins. That's kind of like the go-to decor item. Which, I mean, of course, is beautiful, and I have several of them in my house, but... Just feels like overkill at this point. I didn't see any witches at this location, so witches were the big thing last year, if you'll remember. Every time I walked into Home Goods, there were like 20 witches and two other items. <laughs> it was kind of sad. But here's more pumpkins, more gourds, and um, like I said, they're beautiful. Every single one of them is unique and lovely, but. I, I don't know if I can have any more pumpkins in my house. Like, I, I posted it on one of my at-home videos, but I usually pick up one new one per year just to, you know, it's kind of been my, my, my thing. But this year I picked up the pumpkin with the witch hat at, at home. So that is my one token pumpkin for the year. They're really into the garlands and the, like, the decorative... Um, like three packs of items for some reason this year. And maybe that was, I guess that happened last year too, but I'm just noticing it more this year. Okay, so they have bourbon maple coffee, but not my standard maple coffee, so I'm going to keep looking. And here we go with the tumblers for Ray Dunn that says Witch. Or magic potion or witch's brew or trick-or-treat those cups are kind of cheap feeling I don't know how uh, insulated they are does anybody have any of those you'll have to let me know Okay guys, so now we're entering into the cash wrap area. So every everything else um, in the store, there was no Halloween to be found. So I had to do some <laughs> recognizance work in the checkout line. But I really like those pumpkins. I hadn't noticed them previously. And then they have these beaded pillows. So many beaded pillows. <laughs>
good price too. We got these guys. It's Happy Halloween. Glitter all over everything. So this store also had one of the Welcome to the Haunted House signs, but look at the way it's kind of washed out on the right-hand side. I was not a fan of that. If you guys are interested in getting one of those, go to Holland, Ohio. They have much better ones there. So from Home Goods, we travel back to TJ Maxx on the north end off of Alexis Road. This funky little mummy, when you press his button, will sing and dance to Walk Like an Egyptian, the uh, song from the Bangles, but of course it's the Kids Bop version. And then you have, <laughs> you have Snoopy um, looking adorable and dancing, and I think he like giggles or something, but he startled me so much when he first started moving, I <laughs> had to stop him and reposition him. But then they had this these uh, Jack Skellington greeters. I thought those were really cute. A couple more over on this side. More of the Snoopy mugs that I saw on my previous trip in. And then they had this uh, door greeter that's Baby Yoda or Grogu or whatever you want to call him. At other stores, like Cracker Barrel was selling him for like $34. And uh, I know he was at Old Time Pottery for like $30 too. So definitely pick him up from TJ Maxx. That's the best price you're going to find for him. And then, of course, they've got their obligatory little signs. And their garlands and all those, you know, super cute, fun things. This guy reminded me of like an old sea captain for some reason. Like his coat reminds me of a rain slicker and uh, I really like him a lot. So I had to pick him up and see how much he was. So $17 is not bad for him. He's nice and uh, a, a very hard resin that he's made out of. And then you had the three size bowls with the gourds on them, which I thought was cute. So you had one that was $7.99, the small one was $5.99, and the large one was, of course, $9.99. I don't know why they wouldn't sell those in a set, but, you know, anyway, they can make more money, I suppose. Now, I don't know if I posted previously. I don't think I did on, on YouTube, but I went to Joann's, and Joann's had a few items out. Um, it may be here later in my video, but man, oh man, Joann's is expensive right now, guys. I know that they put things 50% off and stuff, but they're like just flat right out of the gate prices are insane. Like their small teeny tiny signs that are $4.99 at At Home or at TJ Maxx are like $15 at Joann's. So um, plan accordingly, guys. Don't be buying stuff right when they put that stuff out. It's way too expensive. This little wacky wobbler, I thought he was adorable. I haven't seen one where they're... Their knees are kind of made out of springs, so I thought he was cool. And another Grogu. And I really like this pillow. I like the 3D details. So his nose is 3D, his little broom is 3D, the braids and the beard on these guys is 3D, and they've got little legs sticking out the ends. So super cute. We've also got, in case you didn't know, more glass pumpkins. So we're never going to run short of glass pumpkins. And now we have a three pack of pearlized pumpkins. And then there's also a four pack. Now here were two pumpkins I haven't seen before. I really like that tie dyed version. Although that one in the front kind of had some smuts on it. And I thought $9.99 was a good price for that guy. 
And this one looks really pretty. It's made out of like a, a porcelain or a ceramic. And I really like the colors in that guy. And hey, here's another one. And it says Happy Haunting on it. Super cute. Like the colors. Good price. You can't beat it. And then I found this guy. He's got a little heart face. And he's got a cute little foxy tail. Absolutely adorable. I have no idea where I would put him, but he's so cute. <laughs> and we've got pretty much more of the same, you know, more of the same um, Halloween slash fall slash Thanksgiving decor that you kind of put out September 1st and keep it out until you start sticking out your Christmas decor. But I really, really liked this garland. This six foot long gnome garland. Oh my God, he is so cute. What the heck would I do with that? I, I don't know. I have no idea. But damn it, if I don't think it's the cutest thing. Oh, don't drop it, Katie, please. Thank you. Pumpkin. Cute flat pumpkin. I honestly don't know why people allow me to leave my house and go places. I'm so ridiculous. But here is one more quick look around at what they have in their central, uh, you know, seasonal section, I guess. But would you look, would you look at these plate, these little mats? I keep wanting to say place mats. They are door mats, Katie. Come on, get it together. So a cute little pumpkin shaped one. And this was my favorite one. Wait till you see their faces. Oh my God. <laughs> I love them. The one on the left has seen some things, guys. Oh, my God. And then you've got the brooms. Love those. And the sweet little trick-or-treaters. Oh, my God. That ghost is so cute. And the witch. Oh, my God. And now we come to a skull pumpkin. Not a pumpkin. That's a pillow. My God. Tongue twisters. Where's my head really at? It's a skull pillow. And it's $20. And I don't really think it's worth $20, but to each their own. And then you've got more Ray Dunn, you know, because she has to have her hands in every part of life. Saying, hello, pumpkin. And then making the throw $25. And I just, I can't do it, guys. I can't. I can't do it. Okay, guys, as promised... Here are some of the items that I've picked up over the week. Um, most of it is from Bath & Body Works, but like I said, there's been so many awesome pieces that have dropped. The first item, I do not think that I have shown YouTube. I think that I just posted something on TikTok um, to say that I picked it up. But this was last, I think, last Monday maybe I found this piece. Um, and this one was at, I think it was at the Perrysburg, Ohio location. But it is this guy right here. So this is the three wick, wick candle holder. That's a little monster. And he's got this little opening between his, the two layers of his mouth. And he lights up. So he has this green glow on the inside. And if you sit and watch him, he kind of looks like he's bubbling on the inside. Because it kind of dims in. Uh, flickers the light a little bit. So he is so cool, so cute, and I absolutely love him. Now, I also picked up one of the Haunted Nights candles. Usually I wait around for the candles to see a sale, um, but I didn't want to risk it with this one because it seemed at the beginning that it may be a little tougher to find it, but now I've been into multiple Bath and Body Works and they're all available, but I really like this one. Um, this is the Haunted Nights candle. So this one smells, um, it's more of like a, a musky scent. So this one has uh, clary sage, moonlit mahogany, vanishing verbena, uh, and those essential oil fragrance notes. So it's more of like a, I don't want to say like a manly scent, but something that my husband would enjoy as opposed to something fruity or flowery. So I picked this one up for him and he does really like it. So. We're going to be sticking this guy down in my living room. And I just, 
I absolutely adore him. I think he's so, so sweet. So he was the first piece that I found at Bath and Body Works where I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to pick him up. So he was number one. And then a couple days later, I stopped in to the Franklin Park Mall uh, Bath and Body Works and I found that they had this guy. So he showed up just kind of like with unannounced, he was just there the next time I walked in the door. And so this is called the Haunted Conservatory, I think. Yes, the, the spectacular Haunted Conservatory. So he is the haunted house for the year. I know that they put online last year's house. So if you didn't pick it up last year, you had the opportunity to pick it up this year online. So there was that guy and this guy lights up the same way as the house did last year where they projected the witch on her broom. I don't know if you can see it. She's hanging out over there on my wall. And then this one will light up pink with little black bats on it. It's really cute. It is pink and purple, the lights that glow on it. This guy's little face is so cute. <laughs> I love him so much. So he's probably going to go downstairs, maybe in my bathroom, but we'll find a good spot for him. I really like the flower details, very reminiscent of the Target, um, like the, I can't remember what they're called, um, but their spooky garden collection that they've come out with the last couple years where they've got the topiaries with, um, you know, uh, what are they like, um, man-eating plants. Um, so I think that these will go very well with that collection. I've only got, I think, one piece from that collection. And then I picked up, this year, I picked up my um, piece from pottery, um, old time pottery. So this guy right here. So he should fit right along with my other, my other garden items. So I really love him. Perfect, just what I wanted him to be. Um, and then, so I stopped into another Bath and Body Works. Um, this one was in Lima. I was coming home yesterday from seeing um, my sister and dropping off my niece. And so I stopped into their Bath and Body Works on my way home. And I found this guy. I was looking for the female version of the pedestal. I found the male version. I hadn't seen either one of them in stores before that. And uh, both of them sold out online. So he is beautiful. He's very, very heavy. Um, and he's got this like, I don't know if you can tell, but he's got like a, it almost feels like a crushed velvet feel. So he's got this resin black like jacket and then his lapel is this velvet feel and so is his bow tie. And then he's got, I think skulls on his buttons which is really quite beautiful. And then this little gold pedestal that it sits on itself. So of course it is a three wick candle holder. So I'll show you again with the Haunted Nights candle, how that will look. There. So that is that guy. I think he's absolutely gorgeous, but I really want to find the female bust. I think that she is lovely. And so that's the last item really from Bath and Body Works that I have not seen in store that I really want to pick up because the other piece that I wanted, I found today. Um, I was into Franklin Park Mall and they had two of these on the shelf and nobody seemed to be even noticing them. People were just walking around <laughs> not paying attention and I was like, oh my God, guys, do you know that these sell for like $200 on eBay? Um, but I found the witch hand. I found this beautiful piece. It is gorgeous, guys. And it's got the same crushed velvet feel on her, um, her sleeve. And then it's got this resin white cuff. And her hand is really like wrinkled and gnarled uh, with her beautiful, her beautiful nails. And she's got that same spooky um, skull on her ring as is on the um, the bust of this gentleman. So I thought that was a nice little touch to kind of piece them together. But this is a single wick candle holder. So I have got one of the Hello Gorgeous candles that I picked up. They were on sale um, right when they dropped for like six or I think it was $8 per candle. So I picked this guy up 
early on. And so it'll sit on your your holder like that or like I don't I don't know how you're supposed to exactly hold it, but I'll probably have it sitting out like this so you can see her hand and you can see the name of the candle. But I absolutely love this. I love the detailing at the very bottom of the piece. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The gold and the black really ties together really well with all of these pieces. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so, so excited, so grateful because the last time I came into Franklin Park, the lady I talked to, she was like, yep, check in around two, three o'clock in the afternoon. She said that they get shipments on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And so she said a good idea is to call your store and uh, by around two o'clock, they should have been able to kind of weed through their their truck and see what was you know brought in in the shipment and they should be able to tell you if they've got whatever piece you're looking for in stock so i didn't call today i was just out and about dr driving around i went to home goods and michael's and tj maxx and a bunch of other places earlier today and so i was trying to stagger it so that i would be around franklin park area area around three o'clock because i thought if they're going to get it and they'll have it out it'll probably be around two or three o'clock so I was in there right at three and there were two of these on the sales floor. So I almost bought both of them because I could see both of them, but I didn't want to take it from somebody else. So I, I hope that somebody else is able to find that piece and love it. I'm so grateful that I did not like cave to these monsters online that are trying to sell these pieces for an astronomical upsell. I mean, this piece, Somebody must have gone in and bought like 12 of them at once and then was like, it was the same person on Mercari. Shame on you, you're awful. Um, but he was selling them anywhere from $180 to $200 a piece. This is a $39, I think $39, $39.95 item that he was a quadruple price selling. Um, so shame on you. That's disgusting. And I feel bad for anybody that decides to um, buy things at that price because ugh, it just makes me mad. It just makes me mad. I look forward to this time of year every year. This is my this is my happy time. I have a savings account set aside for Halloween decor hunting. Um, so it means a lot to me. And the fact that people do um, have less than... Um, less than, um, I don't know, good intentions. I, I don't know what else to say, um, but people just want to make a buck off of other people's um, misfortunes. You know, if you didn't get a chance to get to the stores or you missed the Bath & Body Works drop online, which I came into it a little late. Uh, I did not know what was going on until I saw somebody post on Instagram that they were buying pieces on, on bathandbodyworks.com. So I went over and as I was adding things to my cart, things were selling out. So I was a little bummed about that and uh, I'm really glad that they are going to continue to get things in their stores. So uh, I think I just posted this on TikTok, but I will let you guys know. Um, keep checking your stores throughout the month of August, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays. And I think they said Thursday, Friday, but I would just say Monday, Wednesday, Friday to be on the safe side. Um, and just give your stores a call if you don't want to drive over there and ask them around two o'clock or so if they got the piece that you want in their shipment because they should have been able to kind of go through it and let you know if they have it in stock. I don't think that they can hold it for you, but they can at least tell you, hey, yeah, we got two pieces in or whatever. Um, so you can kind of... Uh, work accordingly to get there and get the item that you want. So I really hope that you guys are able to find all the pieces. Like I said, I am still waiting for that one piece that that other female bust. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but she's gorgeous and she'll go so well with these other pieces. Uh, I, I am so grateful to have found this. I mean, some people would probably not even take a second look at this, but I, it's it's perfect. It's exactly the kind of decor I love. It's creepy and spooky and uh, it's it's perfect. I'm going to keep her out all year round um, and it just looks really, really nice with that single wick candle on there. So like I said, don't lose heart guys. If you missed the Bath and Body Works online drop, um, just keep 
checking in with your local stores. Uh, and if you need anything, you know, if you haven't been able to find it, you can always let me know. I'll, I'll take a look for you if you want me to. And uh, we can, you know, PayPal money and I can ship it to you if that's something you want to do. But uh, I just really want you guys to be able to find the things that you want because I'm very grateful to have found that piece because, like I said, I, I just kept looking at all of these I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to call these people. They're not like resellers. They're, they're worse than that. I don't, uh, they're just awful human beings basically. Um, that, like I said, want to take all the fun out of Halloween decor hunting because, because of quarantine and because of the way the world has been the last 18, 20 months, um, production is down and costs are up. And so of course people want to make a buck and try and scam people. So I've seen Cracker Barrel ghosts online as well. They're like, you know, total knockoffs. They're half the size of the Cracker Barrel ghost because the Cracker Barrel ghost is like 19 inches tall and the ones that are on uh, Amazon and eBay are like seven inches tall. So make sure that you're looking at the dimensions when you're buying these things so that you don't get disappointed. But I will not be buying any of these knockoff pieces. I really, I really want the Cracker Barrel Ghost. So we'll see what we can find. Um, also today I stopped into Menards and they had, um, a couple items out. So I'm going to post that, <laughs> that footage here at the very end. But I did pick up one of the pieces because she made me laugh so much and she was $2 and I was like, I'm going to put her in my car. I'm going to have to find some like maybe double sided tape and put her in there, but she's ridiculous <laughs> and I love her. I love her ridiculous hair and, uh, her whole tinsel dress. And, uh, I, I, I just, I couldn't stop laughing when I saw her. She's so ridiculous and so fun. So first piece from Menards happened today. So I'm pretty excited about that. But um, I think that that is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys are having fun, that you're still finding joy in the hunt. I know sometimes it's a little sad, you know, because you're wanting to see everything out there all at once um, or have the opportunity, you know, to get all the items. I know how that feels. Uh, I've been very down on myself um, trying to, you know, get out of that slump because it's it is what it is you know like I mean you find what you can find and you do the best that you can but still it's kind of sad you know when you see other people with the items that you want and you either haven't had the opportunity to see it in stores because it just hasn't been in your your area or whatever the case is but have heart things are trickling out there slowly but surely and uh, there's some great things so I hope you guys find something you like uh, I, like I said, I will put the Menards other tinsel pieces at the end so you can see those. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Boils and ghouls allow me to show you the most ridiculous, fabulous <laughs> Halloween display. Uh, just a little end cap here right by the cash wrap area at Menards. So these are just little tiny plastic tinsel pieces. And I feel like these would be perfect to like decorate a kid's room because they're made out of plastic. You really can't drop it and break it. They can play with them and uh, you're really cheap, you know, $1.99 for each one. And they're just so many different varieties, so many different colors. I really love these. Now you're going to see me fight with this spider for quite a while because I looked at it and I thought he only had two legs at first. And then I was like, oh no, he has three legs. But spiders have four legs. Where's the fourth leg? So I really fought to find that fourth leg. But I did it, guys. Fear not. He has eight legs. And then I really love that, that sweet face on that ghost. And oh, there, there she is, guys. There she is. Miss America. The goofiest witch I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> I love her. I love her. She's so fabulous. I cannot wait to find a way to attach her to my dashboard and we shall go Halloween decor hunting together, her and Willie and myself, and we will paint the town orange or whatever. So I tried to show you all the different varieties that they had. There were different colorways for quite a few items. 
So the cat, you'll see one on the top there, he's black with orange stripes. And the one on the top was orange with black stripes. And then they had different color varieties for the hats, orange and silver and purple. And they had different varieties for the tombstones. So that like limey yellow and black and orange. So happy decor hunting, my friends. I will see you in my next video.